Ryan Giggs has made a quicker and anticipated return to fitness. Dermot Gallagher is the referee. United kickoff. Beaten here last season in a game they should have won in their previous five trips to Highfield Road, all producing victories. And they come here as strong favourites, but no one uh, underestimates uh, Coventry City. They do have talented attackers like Darren Huckabee, who's trying to challenge for the ball as it dropped beyond himself and Yap Stam. Well, Gordon Strachan had uh, more than four seasons as a Manchester United player in the 80s. Now, hoping that uh, his charges can undermine Manchester United's title challenge here and help Coventry, more importantly for Gordon Strachan, push up the table. They've had uh, so many uh, nail-biting seasons. This is shaping up to be another one. This is Huckabee. And Stam had to move through the gears then into overdrive. Just looked for a moment as though Huckabee was going to get away from the big Dutchman. Straight away by Irwin. And York's done very well to keep that in. And it caught Coventry off their guard. Beckham's pass. Andy Cole chasing. Ting up Giggs. Well, the move had its origins in York's retrieving right on the touchline. Beckham probed with a pass, Cole chased, gig shot, but just too high. Fast break by Manchester United with 15 minutes played here. Coventry are the great escapers from relegation threat. They've been in the top division since 1967. Not even Manchester United can claim that. That's a cold shot. And in the end, it came comfortably to Hedman. That's a good challenge by Whelan on Stam again. Huckabee. And the guy never grateful that Huckabee turned then so that he could clear. McAllister, Giggs trying to win it back for United. McAllister. Stan having a look to see where the goalkeeper was. Well, it's high tempo stuff from Coventry and it's forcing some mistakes from Manchester United. Telfer. Have a look right, goes left to Froggart. Boateng was climbing in on Irwin. And he got his head to it fairly enough, I think, and the decision is a goal kick rather than a free kick. Beckham, again looking to switch the point of Manchester United's attack by involving Giggs on the left. This is Cole. Irwin. Well, it wasn't uh, too far away from uh, being a headed chance for York. Ball maybe just too high. Really fired across by Irwin. And uh, Dwight York have got in in front of David Burrows. The supply line was good from the fit again, Irwin. Roteng is trying to uh, wait it through for McAllister's run. Whelan wins it powerfully. Runs on here for Telfer. Paul Scholes got uh, a bang there. And trying to curb Noel Whelan. Telfer's shot.
Johnson. Taken down by Boateng, taken on by uh, McAllister. Nielsen. They do have promise when they get midfield players forward, Coventry, but the uh, service hasn't been accurate enough from the wider positions. Boateng coming through the middle and really letting rip, and Schmeichel had to pour it away, stretching out to his left-hand side. It was a thrilling effort at goal from George Boateng. He's uh, got to the ball again from the throw by Nielsen. Huckabee. Coventry get another throw. And De Keen is uh, pushing away at Boateng in the penalty area. Telfer's ball in towards Whelan. And Schmeichel is very angry with some lax play from Manchester United defenders. Telfer whipping it in and Whelan first to it, beating Stam to the ball. Beating Schmeichel, but the shot was too high. And uh, just before that, Schmeichel called into action again. York. This time it's a foul by Shaw, who's only collected one yellow card all season. Which, uh, is a testimony to his methods, but that challenge there has not led to a booking, but it has led to a free kick. And David Beckham, who's had a pretty barren run in terms of goal scoring. Manchester United have got plenty of goals from elsewhere, so it hasn't been a problem. But is it going to be one of Beckham's set-piece specialities? And we've got the height right. But the ball starting off uh, wide of the goal and going further wide. Four goals this season for his club, three of them from free kicks. Roteng, McAllister takes it first time, great move by Coventry. Hit it well, Gary McAllister. Boateng saw the pass. And uh, if anything, McAllister hit it too true. It flew straight at Schmeichel. Good football from Coventry City again. Giggs. First half that's got uh, 30 seconds plus stoppage time to run. Irwin. York might come off. It's been that way for the league leaders in the first half. Keane, well reached by McAllister. Not much time for Williams. Froggart chased by Scholes. Whelan lurking on the left. Froggart to onside, played onside by Stam, who's got to get the ball, having taken up that position. And uh, get it, he did. We're in the minute now that the fourth official has signalled as the amount of injury time to be played. Nielsen. It's half time at Highfield Road and the Coventry fans rising to applaud the efforts of the home team trying to bridge a big gap here. A struggling side against the league leaders. But Peter Schmeichel has been the busier of the two goalkeepers. And uh, George Boateng began to get a grip on things in midfield, and Coventry certainly benefited from that. At half time at Highfield Road, it's Coventry City nil, Manchester United nil. To make a change for the second half, and it's Yap Stam who stayed in the dressing room, Henning Berg has come on to take his place in the centre of the United defence. Coventry City start the second half, 0-0. Manchester United with 15 goals to show from their last 
three away games. So it's a credit to Coventry defensively. They kept a, a clean sheet so far. And they've shown invention and threats of penetration in their play without uh, breaking through at the other end. First involvement for Berg. Erwin. Coventry's throw. As I mentioned in the first half, and Alec Ferguson would know the figures as well, Coventry's home record is going to be the basis of their survival plans, you feel. Gordon Strachan's side unbeaten in their last seven on this ground. Six of those in the league. Scholes. Stopped by McAllister, a boyhood Manchester United supporter. They're trying to help plot their downfall today. Neville. Nicely found by Keane. It was a sensible way out of his difficulties. Beckham. Uh, as well, <laughs> again, David Beckham. And he's involved once more. York. Keane had a look to the left. Recognising that Irwin was on the move. Giggs there as well. Giggs cross. And Andy Cole puts it in, but the flag is up. It went up very late. Seven minutes into the second half. Manchester United have a goal disallowed. Well, Scholes seemed to time his run, but maybe Cole was standing in there. He didn't think so. But they're a very phlegmatic group, like Ferguson's men. Just, uh, so used to playing each game as a mega match. York. Keane taking over. Now Gary Neville. And Beckham. York. Irwin on the move again. Cole back to Irwin. In comes David Beckham. And it was blocked by Telfer tremendously for Coventry. Who look to counter-attack now. But now they have to turn and chase. Beckham again. Giggs. York leaving it for Beckham. Diggs uh, gets in in front of Richard Shaw. All this going on while uh, Noel Whelan was down. Well, it's more than four months since David Beckham last scored in the Premiership. He might have done then, but for Paul Telfer. Roggett, well, it was a decent idea, the execution wasn't right. Oh, that's over, Williams. Richard Shaw trying to curve Andy Cole here. Cole goes for the pass. Giggs. Nowhere near the target. Well, Cole must have been wondering uh, what was the better option there. But he opted to play it across to Giggs. Gave him the sight of goal. Tank. Oh, it's a moment there that really sums up the contest. Coventry pressing on again. Williams ran on into Irwin. Back pass by uh, Roland Nelson. Asked a bit too much of the control of his uh, fellow countryman, Magnus Hedman. After a cavalier moment from Coventry, one of their centre-backs into the corner of the Manchester United penalty area. 
in free play. They're all back now, Coventry to defend this corner from David Beckham. It drops for Scholes. That was close. Right sort of player to get the ball for Manchester United in that sort of position. Paul Scholes. And he fired it back. Froggart taking on Gary Neville. Supported by Burroughs. It's McAllister to guide it down for Boateng. Well, it hit Irwin. And it's a corner. One of Coventry's better attacks in the second half. And Dennis Irwin diverting Boateng's shot. McAllister's corner. Schmeichel goes for it with the fist. Beyond his near post, back by McAllister again. And Schmeichel can perform an easier task. And a wonderful throw from Peter Schmeichel into the run of York. He's got Solskjaer to work with, and others arriving from deeper like Giggs and Beckham. Giggs! Goal for Manchester United! Well, it's often said that they're very, very dangerous when they're defending a corner. And that was the case then, when McAllister put the second ball back into Schmeichel's hands, the goalkeeper started the attack, which brought the first goal of the game. Ryan Giggs shot, and Richard Shaw, right on the line, could only help it up into the roof of the net. Beckham's ball aimed for Solskjaer, flicked off Shaw's head. Giggs round the back, and Coventry, who have played gallantly here, are a goal down at home to the league leaders. Parteng with the back heel. Nielsen. Aloisi trying to get across. Well, has got across in front of Jonsson. Berg right alongside Huckabee, who hasn't really had the opportunity to show what he's made of today. Telfer. And again, uh, powerfully in the air, Paul Telfer. The uh, whistle has gone for offside. Three minutes to be added. very much on his own now Huckabee might run for McAllister Berg there to boot it away again Williams and it's a chance for Huckabee. Well, really, you have to say it's as close as Coventry have come. In stoppage time, Huckabee got away from Irwin, but Michael got a hand to it. Berg got a foot to it. Coventry have a corner. All back for United. McAllister takes it. It's a miss hit by Telfer. Retrieved by Williams. Nielsen. Trying to get it wide for McAllister, but... Too much on it. In Coventry's situation, pats on the back for good levels of performance. Aren't enough, it's points that they're desperately seeking. But 
for entirely different reasons. The same applies to Manchester United. And Alec Ferguson's side have got the three points here with a goal that defines so much of their football since the start of the Premier League, the capacity to counter-attack. Ryan Giggs was there to round it off when Peter Schmeichel had started the move when United were defending a Coventry corner. And it's a facet of the game that United will miss when he moves on to pastures new next season. Schmeichel's ability to spot the potential for the quick break. Coventry go off empty-handed. And Manchester United march on at the top of the table. They've won at Highfield Road by one goal to nil. Alex, I think it was about five games ago when we were discussing Ryan Giggs and the thought that he might be out for the Inter Milan clash. You must be delighted you've got him back early after today. Pertuit it is, scored a winner. And it was looked as if it was going by nil nil draw. Although we had what possession, you know, we, we worked very hard. But it was always going to be a very difficult game here. It was a difficult pitch. Wednesday was a difficult pitch, but the result very different. You must be delighted. Absolutely delighted. The determination of the players and the team spirit got us through. Yeah, Stam off, off at half time. I mean, he's suspended now, isn't he, with that booking? Yeah, he's suspended for the Chelsea game, I believe, yeah. Um, he's um, with a tight hamstring, so it wasn't worth taking the risk for the second half. And um, hopefully, we can get him fit for the Milan game. How difficult were they this afternoon, Coventry City? How difficult did they make it for you? They always make it very difficult down there, you know. And we we didn't pass it as well as we, we have done, you know. And uh, we, we're lucky we didn't, or we're happy we didn't concede a goal. And we're very happy with a win. At the end of the season, these are significant results, aren't they? The way you grind out one nils away from home. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still uh, three points, and that's the most important thing.